it's uh, Jeff from 7 Demo 7 again, and we have the FlySky i6S that we're gonna check out today. This is a new radio, uh, it's this touch screen radio. I'm um, pretty excited to check it out. It can actually handle up to 10 channels, um, and we'll show you the receiver that it comes with. Let's go ahead and open up the box and take a look. This is the very first product I'm actually reviewing from uh, Banggood. Uh, they actually sent this to me for review. Now, it did get quite damaged in the uh, transit, as you can see. Tell you what, the packaging that they have for this thing, you can see that it's just, it's not gonna get damaged even if you have some small uh, things happen to the box there. So, let's just take a quick peek at this here. You're gonna notice that this really is a kind of a funny looking radio. It has a very sleek design. It's, oh, it, a couple people have actually said it actually looks a little bit like a robot, like there's two eyes here and a mouth. Let's take this out of the box here, out of the foam padding. Let's take everything out here. Basically it comes with the radio, it comes with a tablet and cell phone holder here. Uh, very well uh, designed, it's all aluminum, has some little thumb screws here in the back to shorten it up for your iPhone and whatnot. Uh, this ties into this screw hole here and um, this little bit right here, so it's um, a little interesting. This is the FS IA10B receiver and 10 channel radio. I believe this supports uh, PPM. Uh, I don't know if it does S bus, yeah, S bus, I bus, and it has a sensor uh, as well. So you can actually hook up some of the um, different sensors that come with the FlySky uh, receivers, like uh, battery monitor. It looks like it has a like an update cable here. This is the back of the, the the battery holder, and let's see what we have here. This looks like uh, some like the the spring retention um, thing to make this a centering th throttle on this side. That looks like what that th those parts are for. So uh, some sort of CD, and of course your instructions here. We're going to go ahead and uh, set those aside for now. Um, I'll go ahead and install the batteries here. It takes four AA batteries. I like that it's four and that it's not eight batteries, which is nice. All right, guys. So let's take a quick peek at this. We'll turn it on. And just a quick note, there is two small buttons on the back here as well, and two sliders up at the top. These are centering sliders. So if you have, let's say, a pan and tilt servo, you can use it for that. There's four switches on the top, two two-position switches, and two three-position switches as well. Uh, to turn this on, we're going to hit both power switches right here at the same time. Nice. Let me go ahead and take off this protective screen here. So this is the touch screen, and yes, I did say touch screen. <laughs> I believe that this uh, radio, the way it comes right now, the models feature ha is not actually uh, enabled, so we, we would need to do a uh, firmware upgrade to do that, but it can handle several different models. And as it stands right now, it's just, it's functioning with one model. I'm gonna press on the uh, the menu point and it shows all of our different settings that we can change, factory reset, firmware update, and that's probably what that USB cable is for. It tells you about, uh, but you can go basically into anything you want to do if you need to reverse channels. Channels 1 through 10 here, we have it all at normal. If you need to change one, you can just hit reverse. Really, really simple. Uh, endpoints, um, there's all your endpoints for channel 1 through 10. Sub trim, auxiliary channels, sub trim, mix, uh, fail safe, uh, binding with your receiver. And like I said, just it, this, it has a real nice clean look to it. Um, I really like it. Fly mode. Let's see here. Channel is null. I think that's your flight, different flight modes that you can insert into. Let's see. Let's see what this is. Uh, tells you your voltage of your battery. Uh, timers. You can set uh, two timers there, so that's pretty cool. Initial impressions are really good. Uh, I will be taking this out to the field very, fairly soon. Probably install this into one of my airplanes, uh, probably the Corsair that I have, but um, I really love the finish here. All right, guys, so um, just a quick uh, little note here. There's, there's a couple of thumb screws here that this is going to allow you to put on this, which is, uh, let's say if you run with a tablet, you can actually put it right here on your radio. So this goes right through here. Pretty cool. I'm really impressed by this. Um, I can't wait to get this uh, flying. Uh, maybe one of my quads or one of my airplanes. But it uh, has a little tilt function here. 
So this will adjust to where you can put in, let's say, a tablet or, uh, or an iPhone. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, and to turn it off, you're gonna use both, push it together. There you go. See you later, Ishin. All right, guys, this is just a quick look at the FSI-6S. Uh, really cool radio that's gonna be coming out pretty soon. Keep an eye out for it, and there'll be a link in the description below. Thanks.